From the area known as Patriot Place, EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This one taken from the seven. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Let's go! Let's go! Here's the man who's led the league in rushing twice in three seasons, Ezekiel Elliott. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. On second down now, it's Elliott, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. The first down carry by Allian. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Prescott now from the 50. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. On second down, Prescott again. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Sandejo. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Cooper was the intended target. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 at the 45. After the interception, here's Watson. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. Hey, it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. But that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. He's at the 30, 20. And he's got this way down inside of New England's 10-yard line. A big run that time by Elliott, 87 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. From the shotgun, it's Prescott, flushed out right. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. He's coming. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. Takes this down deep on the Cowboys side of the field. It's a big play there for the Patriots. And even 70 yards on the pickup. Set the tone, defense. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. Motion, 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 motion. Hey, check motion. Out of the gun, Watson. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They're going to need some therapy after this. Kill, kill, kill. Watson now to throw. That's complete to White. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Well, the returns for the Cowboys on Leighton Van Der Esch have been pretty good so far. You know, a lot of Cowboy Nation questioned when they took him number 19 overall this season to go instead of Calvin Ridley. But Leighton Van Der Esch would get 140 tackles last year. Franchise rookie record for Dallas en route to a Pro Bowl appearance. Now Watson on third and goal. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Holding on to the football becoming a little bit of an issue. He had two fumbles last week, remember. I played for a guy that used to talk all the time about creating turbulence in the pocket, making the quarterback jumpy, make him antsy, keep getting after him a little bit, and make sure he thinks about holding on to the ball because you're going after him. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. Throwing. Prescott forced out to his left. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. But it'll be second down. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that, because when the game starts to move fast, and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Prescott from the gun. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The veteran Jimmy Smith there on the coverage. 
So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Patriots take over. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. From the gun, here's Watson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 33. Check three, check three. Hey, we got a snap behind him. A shotgun snap for Watson. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. five-yard pickup there so from second and 13 they're back to a more manageable third and eight a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game now they got to get to the 23 here on third and that would cover beautifully their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. After one, seven-nothing. Audie Sports. kick is right there it's good and they are on the board but still trailing it's seven to three these kickers now it used to be that a 50 plus yarder was cause for celebration now seemingly automatic yeah isn't it funny when we prepare for a game when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers it's interesting isn't it to find out they were all state quarterbacks receivers defensive backs all state wrestlers right baseball players we're finding athletes all along and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts and he'll take it back to about the 19 yard line about set for this next drive by the cowboys offense and on the last go around they really couldn't get anything going they had to punt from deep inside their own territory which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule what they're looking for now is a little more consistency move the ball at least a few times on offense get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field yeah just something to build off of that's what they're looking for here so first and 10 now from the 30. He's crashing. He's checking crash. Here we go, 40 seconds. 46. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. And the 
Looking back to Cooper's numbers from last year after that trade, he ended up playing nine games with the Cowboys in 2018. 725 yards, six scores. Also had the 100-yard game in the playoffs against the Rams. And if you add up the numbers between the two teams last year, he was over 1,000 for the third time in four NFL seasons. Owen falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is. They saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Hey, two kill, two kill. Here we go, 47. 26. Prescott looks to throw on first. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Lawrence Guy. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Draw play, Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Prescott escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right. That's caught inside the 20. A big play here for Dallas. And even 40 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Hey, 47. 26. From the red zone now, Prescott. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Let it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. A quick throw there out to Williams. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Set, ready? 90, whoa. 54. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Check. Let's go. On third down, Stidham. He's got a man. It's Williams. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. First down, here's White. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. The last run got six, now second and four. Check back, check back. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, watch this. Now Stidham on second down. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Under 10. Under 10. 10. Kill, 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 kill. No. Turn it up. Turn it up. Hey, Alpha. 
Stidham, third down from the gun. He's going to look for Beckham in the end zone. And incomplete, almost intercepted. Had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. And now fourth down. <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because I could just hear in film session. But, Coach, I was throwing to Dodell Beckham Jr. Of course I thought he was open. <laughs> They'd love to go deep downfield to him, though. Such a threat. Yeah, a rare incompletion because most of the time we expect him to actually come up with the catch. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from her. Oh, Prescott stripped, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And it'll be first and goal at the seven-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns. He's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Odell Beckham with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make this a six-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Let's go, bring it up. And at their own 35 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. You know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Prescott on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Andrew Sandejo. Thought he had the pick. Flag comes in for P.I., so cancel it out. Interference. Oh, a killer for them. Thought they had a nice play. Instead, they'll be marching off yardage against them. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. we got to step it up. Prescott now. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, his 21st touchdown of the season. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. 
Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start. Odell Beckham Jr., the 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Odell Beckham, 81 yards. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. It didn't take too long for them to get that lead right back, did it? No, it certainly didn't, and it's got to be just a bit demoralizing. You're charged up, you take the lead, you send your defense out, and guess what? One play later, <laughs> you're right back in a position of having to go down the field and score again. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Looking to throw, Prescott, and Walker has it. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Prescott to throw, trying to lay one up deep. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And a loose football. That's picked up by the Cowboys. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here go 46. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. He's going to take another shot here. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. You go see Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 47 is 26. Now Prescott, buying time to his left. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And that's intercepted. It's the all-pro corner, Stephon Gilmore. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line.
The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well. Odell Beckham Jr., 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Odell Beckham with his third touchdown of the game, number 15 on the year. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Now the extra point. And the lead is now 13. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Tenth carry now for Elliott. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. For Zeke, one of the first three years he's had in the NFL. Last year, his second rushing title, 1,434 yards. Not as many as 1,631 that he had as a rookie, but still his yards per game average was the best in the National Football League. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. And he locates Walker. Complain. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first and ten, Prescott, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Alex Anzalone, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. 29 is the mic. Mike, 29. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. To throw is Prescott. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Clay Matthews in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Hey, 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 we got three. Here we go, 47. On third down, Elliott. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. They had quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run, but how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you believe in, or are you just hopeful? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Alex Anzalone and the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Bang, 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 bang. On 
first down. White. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Extra point right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned him six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He may try and run for this. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? Let's get it. Watch Twitch. Watch the Twitch. Hey, alert three, alert three. Here we go, here we go. Go to 54, go to 54. Why? 47. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. They'll run on first down. White. Tyrone Crawford in on the tackle. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. On second and nine, Watson. He's got the first down inside the 10. Deshaun Watson, so multi dimensional, able to scramble for the first. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Right there, right there. 54 Mike. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Foxborough. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. And this one is right through. And that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Out 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the eighth. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Charles, this one not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. And what, what are you seeing here? Well, that, mark, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They've got a shot. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. They go to Elliott again. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Cowboys on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and four. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Third and medium. They opted to run instead of pass. And it worked. First down. On first down. It's Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It's a first down following a gain of three. Then we're going to 53. Prescott now from the 50. Throw left side complete. It's Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. We're going to 54. Why eight? 80 weapons. Prescott yet again toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On second down, Michelle. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. It's our field. It's our field. Throwing on third down, Watson. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. 
whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. And being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A first down throw for Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Alex Anzalone, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. After the sack on first down, Prescott had his hands on it but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 17. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Throw it. Prescott. And my goodness, another interception. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. Ooh, just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again is Watson. Flush to his right. He's going to look for Beckham in the end. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Odell Beckham, 54 yards. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead is now 24. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw again on second down. Prescott, he's going to let it fly. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No pick, just incomplete that time. 
Here's Prescott. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense, it's going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On a handoff, it's White. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They go right back to White here on first down. Now White lost the football, but I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. But, <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it on. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. And we'll see if they go back to base. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Every day. Any day. Mike 29. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Now we'll get whistles, and they signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Running with Elliott. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Pats, they just keep on rolling as they move to 9-2 with a win here. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for Dallas, it's a disappointing way to lose your first game as they drop to 10-1 now on the year. And they'll have a quick turnaround as they're back in action Thursday afternoon at around 3.30 Eastern for the traditional Thanksgiving Day game in Dallas. 
Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brad.